praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read a very important chapter from the bible as we read romans chapter 11 from the king james version bible here it speaks israel's rejection is not total i say then has god cast away his people certainly not for i also am an israelite of the seed of abraham of the tribe of benjamin god has not cast away his people whom he for new or do you not know what the scripture says of elijah how he pleads with god against israel's saying lord they have killed your prophets and torn down your altars and i alone am left and they seek my life for what does the divine response say to him i have reserved for myself 7000 men who have not bowed the knee to baal even so then at this present time there is a remnant according to the election of grace and if by grace then it is no longer of works otherwise grace is no longer grace but if it is of works it is no longer grace otherwise work is no longer work what then israel has not obtained what it seeks but the elect have obtained it and the rest were hardened just as it is written god has given them a spirit of stupor eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear to this very day and david says let their table become a snare and a trap a stumbling block and recompense to them let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down they are back always purpose of israel's rejection i say then have they stumbled that they should fall certainly not but through the fall to provoke them to jealousy salvation has come to the gentiles now if their fall is riches for the world and their failure riches for the gentiles how much more their fullness for i speak to you gentiles in as much as i am an apostle to the gentiles i magnify my ministry if by any means i may provoke to jealousy those who are my flesh and save some of them for if they are being cast away is the reconciling of the world what will their acceptance be but life from the dead for if the first fruit is holy the lump is also holy and if the root is holy so are the branches and if some of the branches were broken off and you being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them and with them become a partaker of the root 
and fatness of the olive tree. Do not boast against the branches, but if you boast, remember that you do not support the root, but the root supports you. You will say then, branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well said, because of unbelief, they were broken off, and you stand by faith. Do not haughty, do not be haughty, but fear. For if God did not spare the natural branches, he may not spare you either. Therefore, consider the goodness and severity of God. On those who fell, severity but toward you, goodness. If you continue in his goodness, otherwise you also will be cut off. And they also, if they do not continue in unbelief, will be grafted in. For God is able to graft them in again. For if you were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more will these, who are the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? Promise of Israel's restoration. For I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own opinion, that hardening in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. And so all Israel will be saved as it is written. The Deliverer will come out of Zion and he will turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. Concerning the gospel, they are enemies for the, your sake. But concerning the election, they are beloved for the sake of the fathers. For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. For as you were once disobedient to God, yet have now obtained mercy through their disobedience, even so these also have now been disobedient, that through the mercy shown you they also may obtain mercy. For God has committed them all to disobedience, that he might have mercy on all. Israel's restoration, the occasion for glorifying God. O oh, the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord or who has become his counsellor or who has first given him as and it shall be repaired to him for of him through him and to him are all things to whom be glory for ever amen here ends the reading of romans chapter 11 may god bless the reading as we read the beautiful word in verse 29. 
it says for the gifts and the calling of god are irrevocable we saw the various points israel's rejection is not total then we saw purpose of israel's rejection later we saw the promise of israel's restoration and israel's restoration the occasion for glorifying god god bless the reading god bless you numbers chapter 6 24 to 27 amen amen hallelujah amen